Turkey attacking the goal away to our right in the first half, playing in the all-white and Germany in the all-green. First touch for Rustu. 11 for Turkey, Tafun. He plays on the right-hand side of midfield and plays for Fenerbahce. 25-year-old. First touch also for Heinrich, and I think his role tonight is going to be so important. 11 is Tafun. Always uh, intense pressure on the coach of the German national side, but this man, uh, Eric Wiebeck, was a surprise uh, choice. One or two managerial shake-ups since the World Cup, of course, and uh, Spain have uh, brought in Jose Camacho as their coach. Good play from the Germans, in particular, finally. This is Sergei for Turkey. The distribution and the early stages will be uh, important for both sides as Turkey break forward on the left-hand side. Sergan is the only target in the centre as well. This is two guy. Seven calling it for it is Mert. He probably won't get it because the space over on this uh, near side. The ball goes out of play for a throw to Germany. Top one's touch laid down. This is my route to take the throw. The European champions of Germany who won the European Championships at Wembley with the golden goal. And the man who got it, you guessed it, was Oliver Bierhoff who's here today. Tackle for Turkey. Well, they played their matches uh, in the Midlands, in Sheffield and in Nottingham in the Euro 96. They had the national support. But as their coach, uh, Mustafa Benizi, was uh, explaining uh, in his build-up to this match, there's nothing that quite uh, gets the Turkish blood boiling as much as a clash with Germany in a competitive match. And Turkey have only managed uh, one victory down the years against Germany. In 14 games, here is uh, one-sided because uh, this is uh, not the easiest to get uh, to um, around the ground there are very few German fans you have to get into an international airport uh, and uh, then make the rest of the journey by ferry and bus find it with the corner then for Germany We're looking to try and maintain this excellent record against Turkey and no wonder Heinrich looks a bit disappointed. We've already highlighted that he's vulnerable in the air. But it was a fine jump from the good header. And that was a very good save. Second quarter of the game. Ralph is the target this time. Rustu had to be really alert there. Finally will art this one. Note the strange positioning and the captain, Bierhoff, is the obvious target. Hugh Dallas uh, already having strong words. And I think that this time, Mert was uh, given the responsibility. But look at this, a strange uh, angle to roll up for Teddy Corner. It'll arc away and uh, head it across the face of the goal. And Rusty's lost it this time and got it the second attempt. And already in the early stages, we've seen that uh, there was no foul given by Hugh Dallas. The Germany's intentions will be to play it into the big strong players like Bierhoff and try and put the goalkeeper under pressure in the air and so far it's happened on two occasions and we've only played four and a half minutes here. It always had the potential of being an exciting contest. An early goal would certainly be thrown into the equation. There's one or two other big games around uh, Europe in this uh, qualification section for Euro 2000 and our first uh, look at uh, Eric Riebeck the new coach of Germany this is his first 
Match in charge. After the World Cup defeat for Germany against Croatia, the speculation continued to mount on the future of Bertie Volks, and those close to Volks uh, knew that uh, it really wasn't uh, that much of a surprise when the decision finally came. Mert. Tapun. Mert again for Turkey. Searching ball to the far post, and that's gone out for a goal kick. And this time, two guy got goal side. Olegano was uh, very relaxed. Uh, and the Bayern Munich keeper, who made a quite brilliant save in the Champions League clash with Manchester United in the last minute of the match after Bayern had fought their way back to a two-all draw. The last two games have ended 2-2 by Munich against Manchester United in the Champions League in Dortmund in the Olympic Stadium and next it's uh, for them in Europe anyway is a huge match uh, coming up against uh, Barcelona also in the Olympic Stadium. Tapu. So is Merck. And a good touch there from uh, Hermes. Just joined us uh, in Asia. Welcome to our coverage of the qualifications for Euro 2000. This is one of the bigger games between Turkey and Germany. And so far, in this very early stages of the first half, it's goalless. Certainly there's uh, a large influence from Bayern Munich amongst this uh, German team. And right the way from uh, Kahn in goal through to Marcus Babel. And Ayers, uh, very important. And there's no doubt that uh, the linchpin of uh, the German domestic league is Bayern Munich. It's Turkey break away now. And two go down, the red league, Hugh Dallas gives the goal kick. The ground don't like it, uh, and Abdul was the player who went down. And I don't think there was anything illegal in uh, the Botany. The Bayer Leverkusen, uh, young Libero, began his career with uh, Karl Grua. And at the moment, second to Lothar Mateus, who had to pull out of this squad through injury. It's convenient because he's also suspended uh, for the uh, next round of the Champions League after picking up a second yellow card in Bayern Munich's match against Manchester United. So needed a break and this uh, must have fitted into his schedule well, even though he is uh, definitely in the latter stages of an outstanding career. played and uh, Turkey having started a little nervously uh, drawing nil nil with Germany we feel though that uh, Beerhoff and Kirsten are going to have a big night here will Hakan Suka spoil it for them and uh, prove the catalyst for the Turkish side this is Lars Rickard of, uh, on the of the Champions League. Oh, that was too much to be on his toes again. Uh, maybe he didn't need to. Uh, the painted Turkish uh, faces all look a little anxious there. No corner for Germany. Their third. Find the kick out will be man to take it. And this one arched towards uh, Rustir and look at it. He has to punch it away. He doesn't look happy from anything in the air. And Turkey now break. And it's three against five in all credits of the Germans. They've got that point in. That's a foul from behind. Hugh Jackson Scotland will bring out the yellow card. It's the first book 
king of the day. And I don't think really there was uh, too much doubt. Marcus Babel gets booked here. And Germany give away a free kick. This is the first yellow card. Hostile enough here. Northern Ireland UK2, uh, Turkey for the first match, and were destroyed by a memorable night from Hakan. Raymar. Jürgen Klinsmann as the captain of Germany. That's really how that uh, season played for AC Milan, Union AZ came from. And he's uh, now very popular with the German press and public after a time in which uh, he was regarded as a no one within the game. Clearance from Oliver Khan. And that's definitely some pushing. And Mars Wilkin. As we get our first shot of the Turkish bench. And uh, Mustafa Dinsley. Come the Turks again. Germany has so often throughout their history proved once again they are very tight at the back, very solid defensively. They'll know that a score to score here will be an excellent result. Obviously, the Germans will be going out to try and better that and win the game, but no, no, if they don't see the goal, then they can uh, go home proud in the knowledge that uh, they've really given nothing away. Not too long for Heinrich, who was uh, on the chase. So you see that Taplin was back, and uh, Rebeck, uh, well, he must have been very pleased that Beerhoff and Kirsten passed the late fitness test after the third centre pull out. I think you see where Heinrich is playing because uh, he is an attacking uh, pacey midfield player. That's another free kick. You know, this was right on the play and. Uh, no chance of a yellow yeah, card there for the foul on Abdullah, but uh, it was nevertheless uh, one who went in rather hard.
to keep Mill, Joey Mill. We played a quarter of an hour here. And the best chances have come for the Germans. And it's uh, Kansuka on the relishing one opportunity, you were saying. But this is Tapu. Just hoping to get the chance to open up the German defence, and it's a strong looking run. I'm going to have to be careful, and he was uh, very much aware of uh, all the dangers that were coming from behind him on that occasion. Say, you wouldn't necessarily be 100% certain if you were a defender that uh, he was the coolest man under pressure in a crisis when there's a searching ball coming into the penalty area. <laughs> 16 minutes played, and it's Turkey nil, Germany nil. In this Group 3 European Championship match. And news coming in from uh, Windsor Park in Belfast. The other results in uh, this group. Well, Finland have lost to Northern Ireland. Northern Ireland, who were beaten by Turkey, have beaten Finland by a goal to nil in a tight match in Belfast. And that will be, I think, a satisfactory result for everyone because Finland will be able to win. So now this group becomes just a little bit more clear. Turkey, I think, the second favourites in the behind Germany, who obviously start as strong favourites to secure their berth in the European Championships. As the holders, it would be a bit of disappointment if they were to miss out. and they have been over the years with qualification for Euro 96 and of course the 54 World Cup so it's uh, perhaps uh, massive underachievers Rickon goes in and fairly it's uh, Ralph but who won that Rickon was with him now there's uh, two in the centre. Rustu looks away. There is last record. Longhand uh, Alof, but uh, is really battling for that. Last record who scored a winning goal at the Champions League final for Borussia Dortmund against Juventus. And he came on as a substitute and has scored his first touch. It was uh, one of those spectacular moments in sport that will etched in the memory of all those that were in the Olympic Stadium to witness it. Well, Hakan Suka hasn't really had his chance yet tonight. He was uh, vouching that he wanted to score against Germany more than anything else in his career. Strong stuff. I think he meant it as well. So far, Turkey haven't really taken the game to Germany as um, any other sport they probably would. Instead, Germany had one or two chances. And the atmosphere it's uh, pretty intense, but it's 
not reach the hostile level that it uh, might have done with the early goal. But nevertheless, it's uh, no place for the faint heart as the flag against Hakan Soka goes up and is right. Here are the fanatical supporters uh, of Turkey, all with the national flag, all with a special extra meaning for the uh, clash with Germany. with the fans because there are so many trades done between the two countries. Many of the people who work in uh, Germany are uh, uh, Turks who send money back to the relatives at home to check everything uh, is in good order as Germany have this free kick and again those two will be tested here. That was a good catch. Now uh, all credit to him, it was uh, a fine catch. 21 minutes gone then, Turkey nil, Germany nil in the European qualification matches for Euro 2000. Shake of the head and uh, disappointment from Ulf Kirsten. He felt that that was a, a German corner. to spread the play around and the German defence once again very solid circuit on the side no the flag's got up he raised it late and this time it was Hakko and you'll see here now that was the moment when I was expecting to go and there it came up he was offside initially though the flag stayed down was that moment of pause when he thought, is he onside, is he not? Hakan Suka was just caught. And there's a colossal Turkish flag away too, while that just out of uh, your vision at the moment, which has uh, gone up and down uh, all these uh, supporters in this uh, main stand here. The uncovered section away to the left. Uh, the locals here who are lucky to get one of the Highly sought after tickets. Away by Oliver Khan. Germany wanting to slow the whole pace of the game down. Babel. That was late on that. Uh, And he got up, and I think that Heinrich uh, realised that uh, he was quite lucky to get away with that. An immediate uh, uh, disapproval, anyway. The throw in is quickly taken, and uh, there might be uh, quite a lot of animosity off the field uh, between these two countries, and uh, the support is very, very patriotic tonight. It's got a lot of respect. Uh, on the certainly from the Turkey players towards the Germans. Uh, you really did feel that and notice it uh, in the early stages. That's a fine ball and the flag stays down. Now there's opportunities for Germany to call that. Well, Reimer put the ball across. And the hands up, Rostock. Look, I hear that flag I was talking to you about. It's uh, one of the biggest I've ever seen, I think, at international level. Fourth corner of the game then. 
And once again, it'll be arced away by Vilek. And, whoa, with two coming in. Marcus Bain will come up, that's it. Jeremiah's who's had the shot, it's gone well over the bar. Here's this strange way of taking a corner from Vilek. And it was Jeremiah's who's... Uh, Shot was high and uh, well wide. 25 minutes on the watch then. And we still await the opening goal here between Turkey and Germany. If you get the feeling that uh, the Germans are able to change gear and the pace of the game could well turn in the next few minutes of the match I would imagine Turkey will be looking to try and break their way forward Germany very happy with what they've got but they won't want to miss out on oh, any opportunity that comes their way and when you have a dangerous striker like Hakan Suka, Turkey will always feel they've got a chance So Germany now pressing forward again. Bit of the target. Blaymar goes on the break and here he is. And Kirsten's making a good run as well. And that's Heinrich who got in there. Now's a chance because Heinrich's caught out and Turkey had one extra man up. But look how well organised this German defence is. They're all running for each other. connection. The interesting thing about him is that uh, Turkish number four is actually born in Germany and he has two cousins who play for the Andrat Frankfurt youth team so very little uh, split loyalty. Germany though uh, pressing forward and it's an adventurous effort from uh, finally fully 30 yards. 28 minutes gone in the international managerial career of Eric Riebeck. Name I'm sure that uh, you're going to hear a lot more of as uh, Germany will without doubt be one of the leading contenders for Euro 2000, as they always are. Put out of play in uh, rushed manner from uh, Ogun. On the trans Trans on Sport connection. He plays as uh, a sweeper, but uh, so he fancies uh, playing a more aggressive role. Here comes the cross and Bill Hoff there, and so in the end was Kirsten who had the shot. The applause comes in from Heinrich. Uh, referee Hugh Dallas gives the free kick. Four Heinrich, there was a little bit of pushing and there was Kirsten coming in and sweeping in, it wasn't about to strike either. 29 minutes played in this European Championship match between Turkey and Germany. goes up and Kirsten didn't like it this time he feels he was a man on side and uh, well in any language uh, 
you have to agree that he was onside, but the player in the centre was definitely not. Words can quite often not be required when sign language is such a latent form of communication. Then Turkey nil, Germany nil, and two in the centre. Oliver Carr was so cool. He just always knew that he.